Hey everybody, welcome on back. This is the read-through of Eloquent JavaScript. And we got a couple of housekeeping issues to attend to before we get to chapter 2. Um, I have switched from the PDF version to the HTML version. And the only reason is that as the code becomes more complicated, it's going to be fun to be able to run it directly in the browser. Uh, we did go over how to run code in Replit, and we will probably be doing a little bit of that. We'll also we'll try to keep the vocab list going. But one thing we need to attend to is that the vocab list that we built for chapter one, which was remarkably broken because a couple of the videos where we were actually building it ended up having no sound. So in some of the videos there already is an entire vocab list, in other videos we're building it. But because it's chapter one and we're getting started out, something about a metaphor for software engineering being kind of a circular process at the beginning, blah blah blah. Anyway, here is the vocab list and we want to save this. So in order to save this, we're going to do two things. The first is we're going to sign up for a GitHub account. A GitHub account is rather simple to get, and I'm going to show you how uh, GitHub would ordinarily work uh, in a very, very loose manner. So open up an incognito browser, mainly because I'm already signed into uh, GitHub in the other browser. Pick a username, put an email that you want to have associated with it. Uh, it's never a bad idea to make a new Gmail account for your software engineering career, just to have it kind of separate from your previous emails. Um, if you already have one, or if that doesn't seem like a good idea for you, no worries. Sign up for GitHub, you'll get an email, you'll respond to that email, and eventually you will end up at this page. So here's my GitHub page, there's nothing on it, I don't have any repositories. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to the top right hand corner, first thing we're going to make this a little bigger for everybody. I'm going to go up to the top right hand corner here, and I'm going to click New Gist. Now a repository is going to be an entire set of files. Uh, a gist is basically one file. And for the notes for chapter one, one file seems appropriate. So I'm going to click New Gist, instantly share code, uh, notes, and snippets. So we'll say uh, notes, hmm, we'll say vocab for chapter one of eloquent uh, JavaScript. And it looks like there's a spell check, so we're going to take a stab at vocabulary. Uh, vocabulary for chapter one. Man, that's a weird looking word. Anyway, <clears throat> file name, hmm, let's say vocab chapter one dot. And here's where we're going to name the file, uh, <clears throat> which is actually going to help us determine what the file will do. Now we could say something like MD. MD is called markdown, and it's a way of very, very loosely structuring text in a kind of like halfway between, you know, like a like code and a document. Now what we're going to do is we're going to leave it as JavaScript. Now the reason is, is that we've written it in here as JavaScript, so it's going to be easier for us to transport that over here, and will also allow us to have future files contain actual code that we could run. Uh, so with that, let's go ahead to our vocab list. Scroll to the bottom, we'll go ahead and copy all of this. Bring it back over to our gist. And lovely, there's all of our vocab terms. Excellent. So vocab chapter one, we me put like a, another snake case in there. And by snake case versus camel case, this right here is written in snake case. If I was to move this here and capitalize the all letters besides the first, this is now kind of halfway in between camel case and snake case. Um, just another one of those things. So uh, create public gist. And excellent. Cool part about this is that anybody who in the world who wants to can go ahead and visit this. Um, hmm. I wonder if it means they can change it. Well, if I get back here and everybody's gone in here and changed all the language in here, then I suppose that's what it means. One of the cool parts is that it gives you a revision history, and it essentially means like, hey, this is the last thing that was done to this file. This is going to come in very, very, very useful, especially when we have multiple files later on. But for now, we'll go back to the code and leave this as is. So here's our here's all of our code for the first one, uh, for the first chapter, and yeah. So we'll continue using this replet, but I'm going to delete this for now because we've saved it over in a gist, and this will be the code or area where I create the vocab for chapter two. So with that we're going to click on chapter two, and in the next video we'll go ahead and get started with chapter two, but wanted to give you guys a little bit of a preview of how GitHub and Gists work. And this will also be the link that I'm going to put into the description of the chapter one videos so people can check it out if they'd like it. So with that, we're going to get started with this in the next video. But for now, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you in the next one.